Hey man, what's wrong? Well, you know my brand new car? I rock dented it on my way home from work today. Well, that's just awful. Have you tried anything to remove it? Yeah, I tried that blow dryer and then the fancy little air in a can thing. That didn't work. I even tried one of those fancy little suction cup dent puller thingamabobs and that didn't even work. Well, here's an idea. How about you roll up all the windows and then blow in the tailpipe as hard as you can? That just might pop them out. You are a genius. Hey guys, welcome to Nathan's Car Care. I'm Nathan, and today we are going to revisit the subject of pulling out a dent on your vehicle. I was walking through Harbor Freight the other day, and I saw this. It cost $12.99, so it wasn't too expensive. Let's see if it works. This here is a crossbar dent repair kit. It includes a glue gun, dent lifters, crossbar with wing nut, adhesive sticks, release agent, and a finishing tool. See, it says, no fillers, paint, or leaving your car at the body shop. Easy to use, completely safe. It does say to only use on OEM factory paint finishes. I'm assuming that's because they don't want the adhesive sticks to pull up a less than perfect paint job. This appears to be the actual lifter. It can conform to the shape of the spot where you're pulling, which is nice. Has not quite rubber, but some sort of softer material on the bottom here. And then this is your lifter itself. We have a instructions and precautions sheet. I'm assuming this is the finishing tool they talk about. This is the release agent right here, which is just acetone and water. Looks like we have another lifter that's a different shape. So then we have what appears to be a fairly basic glue gun. 40 watts, so it's not it's not a super hot one, but should do the trick. And we have three adhesive sticks. I'm assuming these are just glue sticks. That's what they look like and feel like to me. Alright, now, that's everything that came in the kit. Let's go ahead and read the instructions figure out how to use it. All right, so according to the paper, what you need to do is insert the glue stick into the glue gun, plug in the glue gun, and allow to warm up for 10 to 15 minutes before you use. Use a clean cloth like Two hours later. Use a scraper to peel off the solid glue patch. If a high spot has been created, use a hammer and not included and lightly tap the dowel against the raised spot until the desired smoothness is reached. Note, the repair kit will not repair all kinds of dents regardless of size. The repair kit will also not work on aluminum panels or surfaces. Okay, so let's go plug in our glue gun and then go find a dent that we can dry this out on. All right, so welcome to the top of my cab. If you haven't been here before, this is it, fancy. It has a bunch of hail dents in it, which is why I'm up here. Um, we are going to try pulling these few dents right here. You should be able to see this one, but there's also another one right there, if you can't see that. So we're going to try these two. So, glue gun is nice and hot, as you can see by the glue coming out the tip. So I'm going to use my clean cloth and the release agent right here. And I'm going to clean, we're going to start with the small one, we're going to clean this one right here. I'm just going to paint that on. Alright, so now we are going to apply the hot glue to the end of the pull tab. doesn't say how much, so I'm going to put a healthy amount. Just like that. We're going to hold this for 10 seconds. All right, we're going to place this over like that and then put the wing nut on here. All right, so now I'm just going to start tightening this and see if it does anything.
All right, so it just pulled off of the tab here. It was fully dried. Let me grab our scraper here and see if that'll come off. All right, so that actually did pretty good. It didn't get it all the way out. There's still a little bit in the middle. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to switch over to this one, smaller one, see if I can't get that, the middle portion out. All right, let's tighten this down, see what it does. There we go, it released again. The release agent does work really well to get the glue off. Got all the glue off, no problem. It left a, just the smallest bit of a dent right there because um, the hot glue is just coming off the pull tab. So the glue is still sticking to the vehicle, but it's just coming off of here. All right, so let's go ahead and try this big one here. You guys can clearly see that. Um, let's see if it does anything to it. All right, so I've brought you in nice and close. You should be able to see the dent here. It's about that wide. Let's go ahead and see if we can't pull it out. So it definitely is pulling it out. I mean, I can feel that. I'm sure you guys can see. There we go. Okay, so that actually did work. The dent was about was that wide, and now it's only about only about this wide. And it's much more shallow than it was. So that definitely did do something. Let's just see if we can't get that last little bit. All right, so this time I tried using lot less glue so hopefully it'll grab a smaller part and pull that sh out and I'm gonna go slow because last time that seemed to work really well there we go see if it got it all right so that's about the same size the original one was definitely way bigger, that's for sure. So it is pulling the dents. It's just not getting them all the way Alright, so that is the crossbar dent repair kit from Harbor Freight tested. And while it didn't necessarily pull all the dents on my truck, I believe that is because the truck has thicker metal for the body panels. Perhaps it would work on a car that has thinner metal. As we saw on the roof, where there is thinner metal, it actually did pull the dent fairly well. It didn't get it all the way, but it did do it pretty good. Definitely would make it a lot less noticeable. The glue gun worked very well. It got nice and hot, didn't have any issues there. The device that they had to actually pull the dent worked pretty well too. In fact, the only problem I had was that the glue did not stick to the pull tabs as well as it stuck to the vehicle. I did try cleaning off the pull tabs to see if there was like any oil or something on them that was making the glue not stick, but that didn't make any difference at all. Perhaps if they were designed a little differently, if they had ridges in there that the glue could get into and really hold on to, maybe they would work better. Perhaps in the future I will look into improving the actual pull tabs themselves so that maybe make this kit a little more worthwhile. So at this point I'm gonna have to say give it a try. Let me know how it works for you. I really want to know because if this works it could be really cool. I do have a link in the description to the Harbor Freight website. It's gonna be the same one that I got today. I also have a link in the description for one that you can get off of Amazon. 
That way you can have it shipped to your house if you don't happen to live near a Harbor Freight. While I haven't tested the one on Amazon, it appears to be the same as the Harbor Freight one. Either one of those, give them a shot, let me know how it goes. I look forward to hearing back from you guys on that. So that's the video for today. You guys know what to do. Make sure you like the video, comment down below, share the video with all your friends, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel so you can be alerted the next time I release a video. And don't forget to check out NathansCarCare.com. There's all sorts of information over there as well as my Amazon web store where you can purchase things and then I get a bit of a kickback from it. So I would appreciate that if you'd go check that out, NathansCarCare.com. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching Nathan's Car Care, and I will see you next time.